Hallelujah. Let me add one more thing. Praise God. Praise the Lord. There is something you will see misplaced to further, you know, uh, bring forward that error. Now, some of you will have noticed what they depict in pictures. You will see wise men, correct? Is it? I mean, shepherds. Is it shepherds? Eh? They come to the woman, I mean, uh, Mary. They go. Uh, let, let, let me even be sure you know what I'm talking about. There's this picture you see some three people given a little baby in a little manger. Eh? Baby Jesus. Eh? What is the gift? They are giving baby Jesus in a manger. Eh? Gold, frankincense, and man. <laughs> baby Jesus. Baby Jesus. But that is not what the Bible says. Go to Matthew chapter 2. Verse 1. Now when Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea in the days of Herod the king, behold, there came wise men from the east to Jerusalem, saying, Where is he that is born king of the Jews? For we have seen his star in the east and have come to worship him. When Herod the king had heard these things, he was troubled, and all Jerusalem with him. And when he had gathered all the chief priests and scribes of the people together, he demanded of them where Christ should be born. And they said unto him, In Bethlehem of Judea, for thus it is written by the prophets, And thou, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are not the least among the princes of Judah, for out of thee shall come a governor, that shall rule my people Israel. Listen to the story very well. Then Herod, when he had privately called the wise men, inquired of them diligently what time the star appeared. And he sent them to Bethlehem and said, go and search diligently for the young child. And when ye had, had found him, bring me word again that I may come and worship him also. When they had had the king, they departed and lo, the star which they saw in the east went before them till it came and stood over where the young child was. When they saw the star, they rejoiced with exceeding great joy. And when they were come into the house, they saw the young child with Mary, his mother, and fell down and worshipped him. And when they had opened their treasures, they presented unto him gifts, gold and frankincense, and Maya, and being warned of God in a dream that they should not return to Herod, they departed into their own country another way. Listen very well. And when they were departed, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream, saying, Arise and take the young child and his mother, and flee into Egypt, and be thou there until I bring the word. For Herod will seek the young child to destroy him. When he arose, he took the young child and his mother by night and departed into Egypt. Okay? And was there until the death of Herod that it might be fulfilled, where, uh, which was spoken of the Lord by the prophet, saying, Out of Egypt have I called my son. Now, see where I am going, verse 16. Then Herod, when he saw that he was mocked of the wise men, was exceeding wrath and sent forth and slew all the children that were in Bethlehem and all the coasts thereof from how many years? From two years old and under, according to the time which he had diligently inquired of the wise men. So, when they, by the time that the wise men saw the star, and up to the time that Herod, they went to meet the child, baby Jesus, from the calculation of Herod, the child must be around two years old. That is why he ordered from two years down, kill everybody. They didn't go to meet him in a manger. 
Go to Luke again, chapter 2. See the people that saw him in a manger. The three gifts were not given to a baby in a baby cot. Oh, baby, 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 baby. The baby Jesus was already almost two years old. Now, in Luke chapter 2, because I'm trying to remove all the false teachings they taught us before. Praise God. Verse 8. And there we are in the same country, shepherds abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone around about them, and they were so afraid. Praise the Lord. And the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you. To who? The shepherds. Ye shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host praising God and saying glory to God in the highest and on earth peace, goodwill towards men. And it came to pass as the angels were gone away from them into heaven, the shepherds said one to another, let us now go even unto Bethlehem and see this thing which is come to pass, which the Lord has made known unto us. And they came with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the babe lying where? In a manger. This did not bring gifts. They only came, they confirmed it, and they started praising God. It is the wise men that came from the east that brought the three gifts. So, to show wise men coming before a little baby in a baby cot, give them Three gifts, gold, frankincense, and myrrh, is a misplacement of the total picture. That is the same kind of thing they give concerning the serpent in the Garden of Eden. They draw him a snake, tie around a stick with apple in the mouth, tempting Eve, giving Eve to eat. He did not become a snake until after he had finished what he was doing. It was after he was cursed that he became a reptile. A snake. Okay. So that is some of the things that our eyes of understanding have been opened to see through this end time message. Can we clap our hands for our God? <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah.